In this mini clip, we will be discussing the applications of the logarithmic function as we answer this question here. Our question reads, the sound intensity beta is determined from the equation beta equal to 10 times the logarithmic function of i divided by i naught, where i is equal to the intensity and i naught is equal to 1 decimal 0, 0 times 10 to the exponent negative 12 watts per meter squared. We are asked to find the sound intensity, which is measured in decibels, of a sound with intensity of 5 decimal 7 times 10 to the exponent negative 9 watts per meter squared. Before we begin answering this question, let's just highlight some of the key points that are given to us. We're first told that I represents the intensity. Next, we're given that I naught is equal to the value of 1 decimal 0, 0 times 10 to the exponent negative 12. Lastly, we have a sound that has an intensity of 5 decimal 7 times 10 to the exponent negative 9. We're going to use these three pieces of information to help us solve this problem. As well, we're going to be using the formula that is given to us. So I'm just going to rewrite this formula underneath our question. We have that beta, which is our sound intensity, is equal to 10 times the logarithmic function of i divided by i naught. Our question asks us to find the sound intensity, which is our beta. Since this is our unknown, we need to find the values for i and for i naught. This is where our given information will become handy to us. So we have that i represents the intensity. And here we're told that a sound has an intensity of 5 decimal 7 times 10 to the exponent negative 9. So we can replace this variable i with what it equals. This is exactly what we're going to do in our next line. We have 10 times the logarithmic function, and instead of writing i, the intensity, we are going to write out what it equals. 5 decimal 7 times 10 to the exponent negative 9. And our units are watts per meter squared. Now we need to divide this by i naught. Now we're told here that i naught is equal to this constant, 1 decimal 0, 0 times 10 to the exponent negative 12. So we can replace our variable with what it equals. 1 decimal 0, 0 times 10 to the exponent negative 12. And once again, our units are watts per meter squared. I'm just going to close our brackets. Now following our rules of bed mass, we now need to evaluate what's inside of our brackets. You'll notice that our units will divide out to 1. So we don't need to take into consideration this watts per meter squared. Dividing 5 decimal 7 times 10 to the exponent negative 9 by 1 decimal 0, 0 times 10 to the exponent negative 12 will give us an answer of 5700. So our next line will be 10 times the logarithmic function of 5700. Now we're going to use our calculators to determine the logarithmic function of 5700. And we're going to round this number to three significant figures. We will have 10 times, to indicate multiplication, I'm going to put brackets here, and the logarithmic function of 5700 rounded to three significant figures is 
seven six. Lastly, ten times three decimal seven six is equal to thirty seven decimal six. And this represents our sound intensity or our beta which we are told is measure, measured in decibels. So we have that for units. And here's our final answer. Now for those of you in physics and chemistry class, you need to check with your textbook for the rules for the significant figures when working with logarithmic functions.